Dev comes to us all when we game, presenting us with anger-inducing game-over screens and the feeling of defeat. Sometimes those deaths are well-deserved, but others are just plain dumb, the result of stupidity or simply bad luck. Oh, and just make note that some of these deaths can be pretty gruesome and are not exactly safe for work. Unless you work as a butcher or something. Death by Kukos We'll start off with a classic. If you've been gaming for a while, then you've probably played The Legend of Zelda series. And if you're familiar with Link's adventures, then you're probably also familiar with his many enemies. It turns out, however, that the humble chicken is a foe that can give even Ganon a run for his money. Antagonizing a cuckoo can bring down a foul doom upon our intrepid hero. Don't poke the chickens. They will poke back, with a vengeance and across platforms. They do not forgive, and they do not forget. Until you leave the village, at least. Hit and Run there's a wide arsenal of available weaponry in Grand Theft Auto V, ranging from small firearms to the death-bringing Rhino Tank. And with so many tools at your disposal, you'd think that the dumbest way to die in this game would involve some kind of rocket launcher mishap or a grenade bouncing back, right? Nope. Just like real life, it turns out that all you need to suffer a meaningless death is to be on the street at the wrong place and time, because non-player characters have no problem committing a remorseless hit and run. This is why we look both ways before crossing the street. To kill a guy with an Uzi. Water Slide of Death The 2013 reboot of Tomb Raider introduced us to a young Lara Croft, who was only just becoming the hardy adventurer we know today. Lara suffers many hardships and fights against enemies on Yamatai Island, but no amount of shimmying and shooting can save her from the treacherous terrain. Every now and then, there's a section of the game that has Croft tumbling down a steep hill or being washed downstream in violent rapids. If you aren't careful and fail to steer her towards safety, Lara will meet an extraordinarily grim end. Look away now, kids! Maybe just stick to tombs next time. Overcooked Grenades Anyone who's played a first-person shooter within the last few years should be familiar with the concept of cooking a grenade. This involves holding an unpinned grenade in your hand for a bit before chucking it at your enemy so that it explodes on impact instead of bouncing around on the ground. Sometimes, though, players forget the whole throw it at the enemy part. Once you've overcooked a grenade, chances are that you're the one who's going to be well done. Explosives have a way of doing more damage to your dignity than your body, as we'll see in our next example. Rocket Jump Fail the rocket jump is a skill employed by many advanced players in Team Fortress 2. The soldier, as dim-witted as he is, can use his rocket launcher to propel himself forward by firing it at his feet and jumping at the same time. It's a technique that many players master, even though it can actually damage or kill you, either from the blast or jumping so high that your legs break upon your return to Earth. Unfortunate players can also launch themselves over cliffs, which is humiliating, especially when the game announces that you've fallen to a clumsy death. Careless Package Getting a small kill streak and receiving a care package in the Call of Duty series is a pretty good feeling. This incentive gives players more of a cause to play smart and stay alive, but sometimes players end up being killed by their own care packages, which are known to drop out of the sky hard and fast. There are few things more embarrassing than being killed by your own reward, except for the instant replay you're treated to moments later. Firewalk This one is a no-brainer, but many players still need to be told that fire will kill them. In World of Warcraft's Dungeons & Raids, bosses usually cover the ground with fire, acid, or some other kind of goop that reduces your health. A dungeon run could be going exceptionally well, but quickly turn into a huge mess if someone isn't paying attention to where they're standing. A good rule of thumb is that if it looks like it could kill you, it probably will, so do yourself a favor and don't stand in fire. Unless, of course, you're going for the suicidal stood-in-fire achievement, in which case, knock yourself out. Literally. Speaking of playing with fire… Romancing Morinth One small, stupid, kinda gross choice in Mass Effect 2 can end your adventure immediately. As Commander Shepard, you have the option of trying to seduce any of your crewmates, including the strange and dangerous Morinth who's kind of like an alien succubus. At one point, she admits to Shepard that she absorbs the life force from her lovers and leaves them Black Widow style, empty and dead. Shepard can pay her a visit and try to engage in a little intergalactic hanky-panky, but he'll immediately suffer a soul-sucking death which is probably not worth it. Probably. So just keep it in your pants and save the galaxy instead. Impatient Sonic Patience is a virtue, except when you're playing Sonic CD. 
If you leave your controller alone and let Sonic stand still for a little under three minutes, he'll get so sick of you that he'll kill himself by jumping out of the game, followed by some really creepy funeral music. See for yourself! As far as video game deaths go, this one feels like one of the most offbeat and unnecessary. Why couldn't he just skip rope with his own head like Earthworm Jim? Quick time events. We finally reach the bane of many a player's existence and the worst of all video game evils, the quick time event. In Resident Evil 5 and 6, as well as countless other modern games, you're occasionally presented with an obstacle that requires you to press specific buttons at exactly the right time. Failure to do so results in an immediate death. The later Resident Evil games are so bogged down by these unnecessary quick-time events that it's impossible to avoid at least one or two brutal deaths starring your favorite zombie slayers. You'll be caught up in a cutscene and be totally unprepared for the sudden event, leading to a game over and the annoyance of having to watch the same scene over again until you get to the part where you died. Why are we pressing A to run instead of, you know, actually running anyhow? You'd better train up your reflexes or you'll end up reliving your failures over and over again. Thanks for watching! Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know the dumbest ways you've ever died in a video game.